Here is question 2A part 2. So here's the information that we've been given. So at the top we were told that 42.1% of shoppers um, stopped to look at the displays and that 70.4% of them were female. Then in part 2 we were given a bit more information. We were told that 38.7% of the shoppers were female and stopped to look at the display, products on display. And now they've given us a question to do, but before I even look at that question, I'm just going to try and process the information that they've given us there. So what I want to do is I could draw this as a probability table or as a tree diagram or as a Venn diagram. I'm, As you can see, I've got a little table there and I'm going to put this into a table. So what I need to do is I think about my two options and we can talk about whether um, the shoppers are male or female. Okay, um, so these are our first um, variables, and we're also going to need a total row. Then the other variable is whether people stopped or did not stop, and we need a total for that. Okay, so let's have a look at this data. So we've got that 42.1% point, of them stop to look at the stuff. So our total of stopping is 0 0.421. Then we're told that 70.4% of them were female. So our total female is 0 0.704. Then we're told we've got 38.7% were female and stopped. So female and stopping is this one here, 0. Get out there, um, 0.387. So I know my probabilities all have to add up to 1, and now I'm going to work out and figure out the rest of it. So I know that this row, for example, there, um, that 0 0.387 plus something equals 0 0.704. So I can do my total, 0 0.704, take away the 0 0.387 and that is going to leave me with a value in here of 0 0.262. Then I'm similarly, I can do some similar kind of idea with the ones that have stopped. So I know that those, the females that stop plus the males that stop have to add up to 0 0.421. So 0 0.421 take away 0 0.387 um, is going to leave me with zero, oh, wrong thing, um, zero point, um, zero three four. Oops, I'm just going to go back and delete this number. Sorry, I've made a make typo in there. Let's change that one. When I subtract it, it should give me zero point three one seven. I was looking at the wrong row on my piece of paper. Sorry, guys. Now I can, again, look and say, right, think about my totals, for example. The 0 0.421 plus something has to add up to 1. So that's going to give me a value here of 0 0.579. Also, my total column at the end there has to add up. So I'm going to get a value in here of 0 0.296. And to find the last value, I can either use the row or the column. Um, so I could do, for example, I can do 0.579 take away 0.317, and that's going to give me a value of my 0 0.262 that I mistakenly wrote down before. Okay, so I've got my table now. So now that I've got the table, now I'm going to look at my information. And they said, predict how many shoppers out of every 300 uh, will be male and not stop. Okay, so we that's what we want to look at, is we've got 300 shoppers, and we're looking at how many will be male and not stop. So the key there is we're talking about our expected value. So E equals N times P. 
And so the reason I know that is I've been told we've got 300 shoppers. That is a sample size. Okay, so in this case I can say my sample size is 300 times. Now the probability, so we're looking at being male and not stopping. So in this case, male and not stopping um, is going to be this value right there of 0.262. So we can say times 0.262. And that's going to give me an answer of 78.6. Now I can't have 0.6 of a shopper, so I need to round this. Okay, so that tells me they're either 78 or 79 shoppers. So we can, the question itself said how many do we use it to predict how many shoppers out of every 300 will be male and not stop. And we are going to predict that there are 78 or 79 shoppers that will be male or, and not stop out of the 300 that we have. And that was the answer to question 2A, part 2.